This is CNC World, a new perspective. Amid economic crises, climatic shocks, and volatile food prices in the world, nearly 870 million people are going hungry. In an effort to help those unfortunate millions, students in a Canadian suburb of Vancouver gathered together on World Food Day to see what they can do to make a difference. Students in the Vancouver area suburb of Langley marked World Food Day on Tuesday with a conference to raise awareness about food security and the global struggle against hunger and poverty. According to United Nations statistics, about one in eight people around the world suffer from starvation and malnutrition, a figure of about 870 million people, down from one billion people in the early 1990s. If I would become part of an organization called World Vision, with about 1,700 students and teachers at the event, those in attendance heard inspiring speeches from guest speakers who painted an often disturbing picture about the extent of hunger around the world. Factors such as erratic rainfall, meager harvests, drought, war and rising food prices were just some of the factors causing hunger. Michael Massinger of the aid group World Vision told the audience the West Africa has been particularly hit hard as more than 18 million people are currently at risk. We're seeing that, that some of the uh, initiatives that we're taking as organizations internationally and, and, and through groups, NGOs like World Vision, are making a difference. The fact is we can't forget that 870 million people are still chronically undernourished. That's a huge problem for the world. We want to celebrate the successes and build on where we've learned uh, makes the biggest difference. But the most important thing is for us to redouble our efforts to reduce that number even more. While the World Food Day conference is designed to create awareness among youth and to inspire the imagination, one person making a difference is Maria Martini. After seeing a news piece on an African famine in 2009, the story inspired her to start the World Food Day event in Lanley and also to create the Food for Famine charity that provides a fortified peanut buttered paste that has enough nutrients to save the life of a child suffering from severe malnutrition. How many children have we reached? Uh, essentially, we have provided uh, three container loads to Burundi, Kenya and Chad, and therefore that would be approximately 2,000 children that we would have saved. As the students took a break to have lunch and wander around the various food and hunger themed displays at the event, CNC talked to a few of the kids to find out the thoughts on World Food Day and how they believe they can make a difference. I'm a really keen believer in the potential of youth to change a lot of things. So I think it's very important that we empower the youth that they're aware of what's going on. I think this is a really good way for a lot of youth around the community to connect and to get involved with different things that they might have passions about in the future. I've always felt very strong about helping people and about sick people and how they don't have anything like we do. So I always think every day that we have food, like don't waste anything. Like that's very important and I think it's it can make a very big change. With technology, I guess we could find some better um, vitamins or ways to ship it over like the uh, powdered milk could help so much if there's just more water sources and that's what they really need over there, water and nutrients more than anything. Um, I've always known about the, the, the people in uh, third world countries that starve and everything but I've never really knew how to help them in any way but this is like a a great way to, to show support and like show your help. Well, I learned that uh, a lot of people can make just a small uh, amount can make a big difference. And I believe, I feel really bad and I've learned a lot today about all the children that, that don't have as much and we take a lot for granted. And I believe that anybody can make the smallest difference and it can count up to make a huge difference in our world. And it can help a lot of people today with hunger problems. This is CNC World, a new perspective.